morning, morning Richland Michigan. High School. Thank you for viewing Ram TV. Today is Monday, March 3rd, 2014. Tomorrow is Green Day. The signature course for today is Big ZD. Big ZD. I love the Big ZD. Okay. Here's what happening. Here is what is happening in Ram Nation today. Monday, March 3rd, 3 p.m. Auditions, Junior High School Musical, grades 7 through 9. It's Pirates of Penzance. All you 9 through 7 through 9 graders should audition. Mm -hmm. 3 p.m. TSA Workday. Dodgeball time. Packets for the annual dodgeball tournament will be available in the guidance office today. All information, including permission forms, entry fees, and t-shirt orders must be turned into the guidance office by the captain in the packet by March 17th. There are also forms available for staff t-shirts. Varsity track. Attention boys and girls who signed up for varsity track and field. Varsity track and field practice will begin today at 3.10 p.m. with a brief meeting in the LGI room. This meeting will be followed by an indoor practice at East Hills Recreation, which will last until about 4.45 p.m. All boys and girls should wear t-shirt, shorts, and running shoes to the practice. Get your running shoes ready. Attention boys varsity tennis. There will be a brief meeting in Mr. Johnson's room, Mr. Johnson's room, B115, after school today to discuss schedule and team policy. We will also have our first practice in North Fork on Tuesday, March 4th from 4 to 6 p.m. Junior high track, 7th and 8th grade track will start Wednesday, March 5th. There will be a short meeting in the LGI room during homeroom on Tuesday. Any questions, see Miss Bailey in room B113. The Junior High Musical, uh, Pirates of Penzance, a musical operata, will be, there will be auditions today at 3 p.m. Students in the grades 7 through 9 are available to audition. Pirates of Penzance is a hilarious musical, Ferris, that centers on a host of colorful characters, including, sen including sentimental pirates, bubbling policemen, dim-witted young girls, dewy-eyed daughters of an eccentric major general, all, made, all morally bound to an often ridiculous dedicates of honor and duty. Please sign up on the board outside of Mr. Miller's office. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Rock or Mr. Miller. It should be a fun time. National Honor Society meeting. There will be a National Honor Society meeting for all current members on Tuesday, March 4th at 7 a.m. in the LGI room. Attention all TSA members. TSA workdays will now be held on Mondays and Thursdays from 3 to 4.40. Student Council Blacklight Dance. Student Council will be sponsoring a blacklight dance for students in grades 9 through 12. The dance will be held on Tuesday, March 4th from 7 until 9.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tickets are on sale now during lunch periods. Buy your ticket ahead of time for $3. Are you going to the dance? Probably not. No one asks me anyway. You should go. I'm asking you to the dance. Everybody should go to the dance. It's going to be a great time. Wear neon colors, so then whenever you're at the dance, you light up. Junior high girls volleyball will begin practice today. Practice will be from 3 to 5.30. I'll be there. 2014 Cinderella Project. The Cinderella Project will host dress try-on days on Saturday, March 15th, and Saturday, March 22nd, from 12 until 3 p.m. at Johnstown YWCA on Somerset Street. Come try on and choose a gown and shoes, accessories for your perfect prom night. All items will be provided on first come, first serve basis. Prom should be fun this year. Yes. The University of Pittsburgh at Johnstown is offering FAFSA completion days. The FAFSA completion days to assist students and their families with completing the F FAFSA online are <laughs> scheduled from March 21st from 1.30 to 4 p.m. Reservations are required for the FASA workshops by calling 269-7045. Congressional STEM competition. The first annual Congressional Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics STEM academic competition is a wonderful opportunity to showcase the incredible talent in the 12th Congressional District. The first annual event seeks to promote participation, creativity, and interest in the STEM educational field. This year, students are asked cast with creating an app the app can either be working or simply a fully developed concept high school students in grades 9 through 12 residing in Pennsylvania's 12th congressional district are eligible to participate 
Sounds pretty cool. Students may compete individually or in teams. Of up to four students entering the competition must submit their app source code online by 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on April 30th, 2014, as well as provided a YouTube or Vimo video demo explaining their app and what they learned through this competition process. Do you want to read that part? Sure. <laughs> it's a mouthful. To enter, the students must register at studentappchallenge.com. Org, I guess it looks like an H. Mm -hmm. HTM. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on the school bulletin. Mm -hmm. And create an account with www.challengepost.com during the competition submission period. All entries must be original. Must be an original concept, design, and execution. <coughs> career announcement. Welcome to the March. To March. This month's career announcement. Cover three broad areas: agriculture and food production and the lumber, wood, and paper cluster, and cluster of transportation logistics. and logistics, which is the management of material flow through an organization. Jobs in these cultures include cashiers and stock clerks, food preparation workers, farmers, forests, and conservation workers, furniture finishers, truckers, and dispatch, and more. So a lot of announcements today. I hope you're all paying attention. Now here are some brand TV short videos. Ooh. Have, Have a, a fabulous, fabulous day. Your lungs burn. Your legs ache. Your mind says stop. Your body begs to rest. Your drive says never surrender. Dodgeball tournament Friday, April 4th. Teams of six to eight players. Forms available in the guidance office. Be there. Nice one, son. You'll be an all star yet. Just remember the five D's of dodgeball dodge, duck, dip, dive, and die. Yeah. Um, shouldn't we, like, learn by dodging balls that are thrown at us, or...? That's what this sack of wrenches is for. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. What? Oh. Oh. If you can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. Uh. 